Bonjour à tous and welcome back to the French Cooking Academy. Let me start by saying uh, welcome to all the newcomers and new subscribers. Uh, you've been really many, which is really great to see. And uh, on today's video, we're going to uh, build up on what we've seen last week. Uh, we've learned how to make the pot au feu and uh, make that uh, beef broth, um, the bouillon de boeuf, as we call it in French. And the next step now is to learn how to transform that broth into a consommé, hein, which is the kind of the fine dining version, that very clear beef broth that you can be served in a very good restaurant. Now, on top of that, we're going to see something extra today. As you can see here, these little molds, we're going to try to recreate an ancient garnish, which is actually a beef flavor, savory custard from Escoffier called the Royal. So if you want to learn this mysterious recipe, stay tuned. So I did say mysterious uh, recipe uh, talking about the royal because the royal is actually something I have not seen much at all on videos. I think there is one video from uh, Michel Roux, I think that did one video about that. And away from that, I've never heard about it. And in the Escoffier book, the royal is a classic garnish that you serve a lot of time uh, with a consommé, uh, which is actually uh, a savory custard that we're going to try to cook in uh, these molds. Usually there are different molds, they're called the Dario molds, uh, kind of round shape and quite high, but I could not find them, so I'm going to have to make do with these things here. Uh, but in very interesting uh, technique, actually, we're going to be using them. There's very variance with vegetables, meats, so we're going to see this after the consommé. For the consommé, uh, we're going to learn today how to clarify uh, the consommé, meaning how to remove that cloudiness of the broth and transform it, uh, transform it sorry, into a very clear uh, type of soup. Now, the clarification technique we're going to be using today uh, is using um, a mix of meat, vegetable and egg white to create what we call a float in English, huh? which is called maybe a, a chapeau in French, like a hat or whatever it's named. And that's floating on top of your soup or your broth and it's absorbing all the impurities and they're all going to stick uh, to that kind of little uh, raft, as it's called in English. Uh, but the interesting thing about that is that if we go back into history, uh, it seemed that from the, 17, uh, the 17th century, I think, something like that, that this technique was used uh, for wines. And I, I even wonder if it's still used today. So people were using uh, egg whites as well to clarify the wine, huh? because it starts to be very cloudy, and by doing that collage, it's called in French, huh? and the, the, the sticking process, all the impurity is going to stick and it's going to clarify the wine. So it's been stolen from the winemakers to arrive in the kitchen to give us what we know today as the consommé. So very interesting. Let's get started. So today we are learning how to make a consommé. I was talking about the building blocks of French cooking, uh, and the, uh, the consommé is actually the evolution of uh, a simple broth huh, that is very cloudy. So that's a beef broth we've made last week huh, in the pot of a recipe. And we're going to try to clarify that broth to transform it into a clear soup that is called the consommé. In order to do so, we need to create what is commonly known as the egg raft. Huh? It's a floating uh, a piece of ingredients that's uh, it's got a blend of ingredients, mainly carrots, tomatoes, celery, the green part of the leeks, a bit of coriander, you can use chervil, uh, beef also, I will explain why, and most importantly, egg whites. Huh? And mixing all together, it's going to create that raft and it's going to be, uh, I'm going to show you how to clarify that, that broth. We're also going to learn how to make the Escoffier Royal, which is a garnish serve, a garnish, sorry, serve with uh, the consommé in general. You haven't seen that before, it's not very common, uh, but it's a savory custard that is made with some uh, egg yolks, some full eggs, some cream, some nutmeg, salt and pepper, and we're going to be using a little bit of the flavor of the beef and some coriander to create this lovely garnish. Huh? That's going to be quite interesting. You're also going to be needing some molds, like Charlotte molds, Dario molds. I'm just going to use some you know, standard one to practice huh? so we keep things easy. Okay, let's start. So in order to clarify our broth, huh, we're going to need an extra pan, a new clean and large pan. And you basically start by pouring all of the ingredients uh, sorry, in the pan, uh, so the celery, the tomatoes, the carrot, everything has to be uh, finely, uh, finely chopped. Now I've got some uh, the green of the leeks on here. 
Okay, a little bit of uh, coriander and some mints. Now looking a little bit closer or closely at the mix, huh, we've got everything together and the last element is the two uh, egg whites and this is the real thing that is going to basically uh, make sure that uh, all the impurities get stuck. So you have to mix this very well, all the egg whites, with the ingredients, the mints and the other vegetables before we add the broth. Once everything is mixed in, the next step is to put your broth and the cold broth, it has to be cold, into the mixture. But you see these white things that float on the broth? This is the leftover pieces of fat that was in my broth. And because it's cold, they are hard and I can just scoop them out and remove them. So you need to make sure it's really, uh, the, all the grease has been removed. And so you do that first before adding the broth in. Perfect, so my broth, uh, I've got two liters here. It's nice and clean. And as you can see here, it's pretty cloudy. Uh, and to be honest, this is the first time I actually attempt uh, that clarification. <laughs> uh, I hope it's going to work, so we'll see. So once you've got this, it says we need to still mix everything together. Uh, so the broth with the ingredients. And we're going to turn the heat on, on medium, and bring this, not to a boil, it must not re-boil, really but just heat it up so that it's almost looks like it's going to start to boil and then we're going to reduce it to a simmer. So let's start with that first section. Heat on, medium, and let's wait until it warms up. As your broth is warming up, it is said uh, in our culinary books and also by Escofield that you need to gently uh, uh, stir, I think it's called stir or stir, uh, the mix so to make sure that the uh, egg white doesn't coagulate at the bottom uh, and make sure it's evenly uh, disposed. And that's going to give us some time to uh, actually be talking about the why. Why on earth are we putting all of this stuff in our broth uh, in order to make uh, that consommé? So it's very simple. So the vegetables you see in here that we've added, uh, because we're making a soup, they're going to release their flavor. And the cooking time of that raft is about 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, and all these vegetables, they're going to release their flavor into your consommé. So added flavor. The egg white, on the other hand, uh, is known to kind of remove some of the aromas. And so never put too much egg white in your mix thinking, oh, I'm going to put tons of egg whites and I'm going to make sure it's going to be clear. No, because if you do that, your consumer is going to start tasting like egg. This is the big risk. Huh? So one egg white per liter of consumer usually. Now, to parry that, uh, that kind of egg taste and the loss of aromas and flavors, this is where the beef comes in, you see? So we add some extra beef in there and it's going to kind of beef up, huh? so to say, uh, add some beefy flavor into your consommé. So we're restoring the balance and this is the, the whole purpose. Now we're here, as you can see, you see these little bubbles going through. That means that it's kind of rich temperature, in which case you need to put your heat on, uh, on really low. And that from now on, apparently from what it says, you should not be touching it, you should not be mixing it and it just needs to simmer for 45 minutes. I'm putting the timer on here for 45 minutes. Okay, uh, but I have to be honest that doing things for the first time is absolutely nerve wracking and especially when I look at that thing. Because if you were to telling me that this mix in front of me is gonna transform into the most pristine uh, type of soup that exists in French cooking, I may tend to, to, to think that you just, uh, you know, escape from the asylum. Um, because honestly speaking, I am not sure about that. But let's see, look, the raft, or the so-called raft, I, I, there is something that starts to solidify, like a hat or something like that. Um, so let's have a look. I'm going to leave this on an ultra simmer. Do not touch the mix, that's where it says do not mix it, any disturbance is going to make things cloudy. So 45 minutes, let's go, I'll see you then. The time is up and now is the moment of truth. Now if I'm looking at the chimney, this is what it's called in the middle, that's where the little bubbles were coming out, it actually really looked like it's cleared up the whole broth. That just blows my mind. Let me zoom in and show you exactly and we'll discover together. Okay, so I've made that kind of hole and I've recentered the camera to show you. This is absolutely insane. I can see right through the bottom of this and this is crystal 
clear. Uh, the next step consists of basically uh, using a like a soup ladle like that and we're going to delicately take some of the broth and filter it. So I'm going to show you that in detail. And now for the filtering. So uh, filtering uh, further is another step that's necessary. That, that broth is now it's a consume, it's completely clear and yet you need to filter it further. Usually you use a clean tea towel or a muslin cloth like a cheesecloth but I didn't have that and I've just used some recycled um, how do you call that? These coffee filters. You see they're just paper. I've grinded some uh, black pepper and put a little bit of coriander uh, and what needs to happen is to very very gently get that clear broth and put it bit by bit and it's a long process and you're going to filter it again to get that amazingly clear soup. So you do that until the whole pan is empty. That just blew my mind and I can say here uh, comfortably that mission accomplished. That technique with the raft is absolutely working. Would you look at this? You can see right through. It is plain amazing. Now we've got the consommé. Now let's move on to making the royale. And now to make the royale, the royale is simply a savory custard. Huh? So you start with three egg yolk and one full egg. And there are different recipes. One of the recipes from Escoffier was using only the consommé with some eggs. And another one was only using some eggs and cream. Now I'm going to try to mix both by doing 100 ml of cream plus some consommé in order to make uh, my custard. So you start with the cream and the eggs and you simply mix everything together uh, to give us a base. And after that, I'm going to add some consommé. Once my cream is in, I'm going to try to add some warm consommé, about 100 ml, uh, until I get a nice and smooth kind of mix. So this is already salty, so no need for salt. And the only thing I'm going to add in there is a little bit of white pepper. That's it. Mm. This is the mix for your oil. Just before you pour your mix in the mold, make sure you filter the eggs eh, to any bits of cream, pepper and anything that you, that's unwanted. Make sure it's nice and clean. And then in the mold. Once your custard is ready, I'm just going to pour this in the mold. Okay, so I can put a little bit more. Sorry, scoop it up. And that would do. Okay, so now we need to cook our uh, savory custard. Uh, au bain marie eh, in, a, in a bath of hot water. So I've put some foil on top of my container. I've put this in a deep container and I'm going to pour in some boiling water. So from the kettle, I put a kettle on and to accelerate things, I'm going to pour the water it's just enough, not all the way to the top. Huh? Maybe that would do it so that my container doesn't float away. And I'm going to put this in my oven 120 degrees centigrade and leave that to cook for maybe 30 uh, maybe 40 minutes and we're gonna have to play it on ears exactly depends on the amount but it should be roughly but a bit more than 30 minutes perhaps 35 40. And that's it my very first uh, royal from Escoffier that savory custard uh, looks like a cake really is ready and it went really well in that little mold as you can see here it's very soft it's all set and it's basically ready. Now before we can do anything with it, it has to be absolutely, absolutely cold. So we need to put that in the fridge or the freezer if you want to accelerate the process and wait until it's really cold before we unmold and cut it. Uh, last point about the temperature, 120 degrees Celsius, which is about 150 Fahrenheit was for me way too low. The water was not even near simmering. So I've put the temperature at 140 degrees Celsius, which was 180 Fahrenheit. That's up to you. But at the end of the day, it's cooked and it looks nice. All right, people, moment of truth. Uh, the royal is off the, the fridge. I've tried to run a knife along and along the edges is what it's written, but I've got a feeling it's going to stick because I forget to put butter, even though this is a non-stick. So let's see what happened. Are you ready? One, two, three. Very hard. It's not coming out. Wow. I had to bang that thing real hard before it came out, but it did.
This recipe is making, <laughs> it's making me stressed. Everything from scratch the first time around in two things like the royal and the, uh, the clarification. Wow, so Escoffier is saying here, when you got the royal, you need to cut it. And doesn't matter what you do, he says that you should have exactly the same kind of shapes and, and uh, forms and whatever uh, you can have. So I've selected here these little things and these little cutters and these little things with shape. And I'm going to try to uh, first detail this in a few slides like here. And then we're going to try to shape those things into something a bit more appetizing. Now, as you can see here, I've tested something. And if I tell you that this is fragile, this is like an understatement. I can see that the temperature rises already and it starts to be really, really soft. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this little one here and make some circles. So two circles each, just to show you what I'm going to do. I'll do this off camera. And for the next one, sorry, I had to move them around like this one. I'm just going to try to do like halfway with this to give some little shapes and it's not perfect and I'm not an expert at this to try to get a bit of variety but that's it. To finish I'm gonna I've cut some off cut uh, on, on a fork here. I'm gonna just give it a shot. Ah, it's, it's not too eggy. I thought it was gonna be a bit eggy. Now it's very uh, you can feel the fattiness of the cream and uh, really the taste of the bouillon but not overwhelming and I think it will go very very good uh, in the soup. Wow amazing. So let's dress that up. And that's it. Finally, I managed to find some kind of way to serve the consommé. This has to be the most difficult, fragile and awkward soup to use because it is so pristine. It is so clear that anything you put in it mess it up big time. I managed to capture on that shot just what I wanted to show you. And this is the essence of this on here. You've got the clear beef consommé that I've decorated with a bit of coriander and some asparagus on here, just to add some, some flavor of the coriander. These little blocks here, these are the Royal from Escoffier. And this is the type of garnish it would be serving on this type of cocktail-like appetizer that were meant to excite uh, you, you know, your test bud before the meal. It's not even like a soup. It is just a few spoon of delicacy of that lovely creamy uh, uh, custard that you have here. It tastes like beef. Huh? It's a bit buttery and it goes really well with the consommé. I can't even taste it in front of you because it will destroy the whole thing, but it is intense. It is really beefy in flavor. It is salty and the neutrality of the Royal really makes the dish comes together. It is really amazing. But what I can say today, really, I really doubt a lot of the things. First time that I did the Royal, first time that I did the clarification, I had my doubt. I've stressed out. And at the end of all things, if you look at the result, it still turned out OK. So to conclude, before I go, I'd like to say that, yes, the clarification absolutely works and the Royal, it's a real great way to enhance your consommé if you make one. And I'm really stunned to have gotten that result. But that's it for me today, guys. Uh, that completes our video on the consommé with the Royal from Escoffier. Next week, we're going to be going into sweet things uh, as you have uh, asked for me to make the a strawberry, no sorry, the raspberry financier. It's just a little sweet, a little dessert. That's going to be a nice change to take a bit of a break of all this salty stuff. All right, as always, if you want, you can support my work on Patreon on tp.com and subscribe to the channel and drop me some comments if you have questions about that recipe, if you try it and tell me what you think. Okay, I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye bye.